In this video, we're going to focus on the second level or the dynamic toolbar when working with your Viewlet projects. We're going to just show you the basics of working with the dynamic toolbar as an introduction, and then when you're working on your Viewlet project, you can play around with it more on your own. Right now, we have a slide selected, and we have a second level toolbar loaded. And this toolbar here, known as the second level toolbar or the the context sensitive toolbar is a dynamic toolbar. It will change depending on your selection. Again, right now we have the slide selected. So this little image over here shows us this is the slide toolbar. If I select the balloon, it changes its options for working with the balloon. If I double click and go into text to edit mode within a message object, it changes again with options for working with the text. If I click off and go back to selecting the slide again, it changes. And again, if I choose something else, let's say an image, it changes the selections there. So let's see how we work with this. First off, we can go ahead and let's say we want to work with slide options. So we have the slide selected, and we can choose an option such as, let's say, the background color. Maybe we want to change this to something like more of that color, and we click OK and then the option is updated for the background color. If I go ahead and let's say select a message object, with the object itself selected by single clicking, I get one set of options available for working with the object itself, such as for the container, I can go ahead and turn on text wrapping. I can maybe also add some shadow effects. Maybe I want to go ahead and do that now. Let's see what happens. We can apply it. We have some shadow effects applied. Now, the next state for working with slide text is double clicking, and then I get another set of options for working within text edit mode. So maybe I want to go ahead and change the color of that font to something else. I click off to deselect it, and again, the toolbar changes depending upon the selection. Also, if let's say I want to go ahead and insert a shape, I get my shape toolbar here dynamically loaded, and I can go ahead and let's say maybe create a shape here. And then I can come along the toolbar here, maybe change some of its features, maybe add a border, and so on. So that's the basics of working with the dynamic second level toolbar while you're editing your Viewlet project. So pay attention to what you have selected to get the options that you need at this level dynamically loaded for you to improve your Viewlet authoring skills. That's it for this topic. If you have any questions while working with Carbon's products and services, please visit us online at www.carbon.com. Happy Vuleting!